He says, hey, guys, hey. I run a small local repair shop for phone and computer repair, and I'm wondering if you have any suggestions for a customer that I'm currently working with. He is a semi-professional photographer, but he really doesn't have a backup strategy in place. Currently, I'm working on saving about 700 gigabytes of pictures from his old MacBook that he forgot that he even had. Whoa. Currently, his workflow is to use Apple Photo for everything and he creates new photos, a uh, new photos library every year on a yearly basis with all of the photos for that year. He is not using iCloud photos, so all of his pictures are only on his MacBook. Obviously, this could be disastrous. Oh, yes. Uh, I am currently working on a backup strategy to, uh, to suggest to him he is not the most technical person in the world, so the simpler the setup, the better. But I would also like it to be a robust solution for him. He does have a home and office that are physically separate. So what I was thinking was suggesting a, signal, a Synology NAS at each location and then somehow syncing the two together. It would be good for him to be able to make a change to either one and then that change be replicated on the other. Any ideas on making it seamlessly work with this Mac? Unfortunately, I have not yet gotten a chance to dive deep into the NAS world yet. So my experience is minimal in this area, but I think it might be right for him. Any other ideas would be great. Thanks guys. Jeff. Uh, yeah. So the simplest way is going to be for him to pony up for the monthly fee and do, um, iCloud photos and store his photos there. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's going to be what it, with 700 gigs, it would be 10 bucks a month. I think it would be enough to get, a terabyte you might be able to do it for less than that i'm not sure yeah. i know that syncing your photos to the cloud is not officially a backup but by golly it's better than what's currently happening there yeah. which is that they exist nowhere else so yeah i that that would be my recommendation now i realize he's not on that he may have security reasons or personal reasons for not wanting his photos on somebody else's storage. And of course that would preclude iCloud photo library. So moving past that, um, I would say time machine would be the, the next best thing. Um, and, and maybe even an also along with that best practice, like it time machine is there to do exactly this. And again, it hits the bar of simple because as I've always said, I love the idea of backing it up to a Synology, the Venn diagram of novice users and Synology users has no overlap. And I don't mean that novice users can't use a Synology. What I do mean is that once you start using a NAS, you are no longer a novice user. <laughs> and so you have to sort of buy into learning a new operating system, learning a new interface, like that's just going to be how it is. And, and it's fun. Don't, don't get me wrong. We talk, we love the, you know, we talk about it here all the time, but it, it's not the simplest path, nor is it necessarily the most cost effective. Although if you're going to do other things with the Synology and this, you get as an added benefit, then maybe, you know, dollar cost averaging, you get yourself there. But um, I don't know. That's, that's my, them's my thoughts uh, adam you have any thoughts on this yeah i actually really do um and i think the the trick here is so a couple things to to know if you go the iCloud photos route where he's going to run into a problem is with his workflow which is currently creating a new iCloud or a new photo library every year for his photos because iCloud yeah. photo library will only allow you to have one system photo library that goes to the cloud you can't have multiples so he'd only have his current year or he'd have to change that workflow um but uh i think you're absolutely right on the time machine path like that's the easiest way because he's got these individual photo libraries for every year they're just a file on his computer that will get backed up by any local backup system he wants to put in place so carbon copy cloner it could be a you know a directly attached nas or drive, you know, like RAID drive is like is what I want to say, not an as, but directly attra Dats. attached RAID. Yeah, right. yeah, whatever. You, <laughs> uh, just a huge, you know, eight terabyte hard drive or whatever. You know, like lots of options there. And then, um, you know, it could be either he could literally have the library on that drive and then backed up someplace else, 
I, and I think that's where he's getting at with this home office NAS thing is I would assume the assumption is he puts all his photo libraries on the NAS at the office and you could have it synced to the NAS at home, right? But like you said, that'd be kind of a complex setup, it sounds like, for this guy. So I like the idea of just, you know, have a regular clone to back up to another drive and just move those libraries over. You can automate that. Um, you could use a tool if you wanted like um, ChronoSync to do that. Yeah. You could simply set up a Hazel script to just copy, yeah. you know, the libraries over. I mean, there's like a million ways you could do this to get the libraries from, you know, in two places locally yeah. without having to do a lot of muss or fuss. And, oh, sorry. And then the last thing on that is my other recommendation is take a look at uh, Power Photos from Fat Cat, so Fat Cat Software, which is specifically software that's easy to use, designed for managing multiple photo libraries. I love Power Photos. It, it like yeah. it is yes, it it is. If you're doing anything with photos, I, you know, other than just like they're in my library, but if you need to do copying or merging photo library like all of those things if you're managing multiple libraries either long term or even short term power photos is yeah yeah i, 